move. I have to edit this. Hold on. Facebook changed its things, so I have to brighten it. Let me flip it so this is not backwards. <laughs> Facebook changed fun. Now you can't even see what I wrote on the bottom, I don't think. So let me move this back. Normally I set all this up before I press live. Oh, I changed the buttons. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. See, now I wrote funny. Oh, I don't like how this is. This is like the most important thing at the very bottom here. And I don't know that you guys can see it. Okay. Let me, let me adjust it there. Can you guys? Okay. Okay. This, this is what all of this is leading up to right here. So hopefully, you, let me know if you can't see this, you guys. Let me know if you can't see this down here because this is like the most important message of the whole thing about how this causes hormone imbalance, how this will mess up your hormones. And it almost doesn't matter if you are still having a cycle, don't have a cycle, what to not. This is going to mess up your hormone levels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good time. Good times, right? <laughs> so glad to know this. All right, I'm going to put a link here in the comments for the waitlist for the next 12 week challenge. These are things that we work on in the 12 week challenge because when you have a histamine response, when you have hormonal imbalance, you are going to have other systemic issues, right? A lot of times um, gals think, oh, it's just my hormones or it's just my this. It's like, yeah, that doesn't just impact uh, your reproductive system, right? These hormones go everywhere, they impact and interact with other systems, and other systems impact your reproductive organs and your hormones they all work together sometimes not synergistically though so we have to work on different things to make sure that everybody plays nice mm. okay so um there's some different testing and things that we do uh to to dive into this but again this right down here is so 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 important and it makes me bananas when i keep seeing things on social media where people are like oh yeah that's not a thing to have more estrogen or whatever. I was like, it's literally a thing that can be caused by so many different things in the body. Oh my God. <laughs> this is basic female physiology, like basic female phys physiology. Mm -hmm. It gets more complicated when you're looking at other systems and you're looking at other cell responses and stuff. But yeah, let's dive in. Let's just dive in. <laughs> Look at this drawing. I drew a cell, I was so excited. Histamine, histamine response. What is that? What is that? Most of the time people are familiar with your histamine response or reaction when you're looking at some type of allergic reaction. This is an IgE response in the body. Um, that means that most of the time people are like, oh, that's an allergy where you die, right? Well, yes, but there's different degrees of response, right? If you are allergic to peanuts and you have an anaphylactic response, right? You don't want to eat peanuts because yes, there is a bad outcome there right? Yeah. So you avoid eating peanuts and you're fine. Now, what happens if it's not the worst or the worst, right? Because this isn't like a on or off switch. Your histamine response is like a gradient dial. Sometimes when it's turned all the way up, that's where it's bad. Well, what happens if it's like here or here? Does your body still have a reaction and response to it? Yes. Is it going to kill you? No. But there's all this other stuff that happens in your system that's negative from that. How does this work? What, what am I talking about, right? So histamine is released from mast cells. So this is my beautiful drawing of a mast cell. Um, they are in your skin. So if you are familiar with doing like skin testing, they don't do it on your hands. Sometimes they do it on your forearm or they'll do it on your back for allergy testing, the prick test, right? You lay there and they put different um, substances, uh, tree pollen, grass, dander, blah, 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 whatever. And they make this thing they let you sit there and ones that are red and itchy and swollen that's a histamine response from the mast cells then they say oh you have an allergy to tree pollen okay right is tree pollen going to kill you no but your body's having an allergy to it right because you have these mast cells in your skin they're also in your intestine lining we're going to get to that more in a minute air passages right <laughs> the sniffies, right? You get itchy, watery eyes and runny nose, right? And bone marrow. Now, what happens if you have foods that you're sensitive to? Maybe not a flat out allergy, but oh man, I eat this and I just oh, I get a belly ache or something or oh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't know what happens. You have mast cells in your intestines. Isn't that fun? That means, <laughs> that means, that sometimes if you are um, on an overload, which we'll talk about in a minute, then uh, little added <laughs> things 
irritants for your intestines can trigger more of a histamine response. Mm -hmm. um, the histamine, besides being primarily made by the mast cells, that's the majority of it, right? It can also be made by gut bacteria and is present in certain foods. So, um, but this is the main culprit here. What does histamine do? It has an immunity reaction. It removes allergens from your system. So that's important. Also plays a role in digestion, injury response, and toxin response. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes if you're going through a detox or some flushing of the system and you get like watery eyes or itchy nose and you're like, oh, I'm sneezing or oh, I just feel kind of stuffy and I don't feel that good, right? Why don't I feel that good? Histamine response. So this is the mast cell releasing a lot of that histamine. This would be a lot of histamine released, right? If it was only like this much here, then that would just be a little bit. So you get this histamine overload, one, because your mast cell releases a ton of histamine, but also there's other things, other enzymes in your body that are supposed to break that down and get rid of it, right? So if you get, you know, bit by a mosquito or something, I live in Minnesota, there are a lot of mosquitoes here. You get bit by a mosquito, initially you'll have like a redness and it'll itch and all that stuff and you're like, dang it, and it gets a little swollen there. But within, you know, a few days or so, the redness and itchiness and everything will go away because your body can break that down. If you are having a histamine overload and the enzymes don't break it down, you'll have that bite mark for longer. And you'll have, and if you're having an increase of release, again, you'll have that there for longer. It's just too much to clean up. So what else can histamine be triggered by though? Um, again, allergy response, medications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Infections, temperature change. If you're somebody who says, gosh, I don't do well when, they're really, when it's really cold or I don't do well when it's really hot. I physically get sick or I feel gross or I feel, you know, stuffy or there, again, there's, because these are all the um, tissues that these live in, the histamine though goes everywhere. Histamine goes everywhere in your body. Again, we're going to talk about that right here in just a second. But temperature change, trauma, and this is physical or emotional trauma, right? Stressful events. Again, they can be physical or emotional stressful events. If you're thinking right now, so you're telling me that fight that I got in with my husband and I felt like garbage afterward. That's actually my body's response to histamine. That can be a thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then toxins also trigger this. So the other thing when we talk about hormone imbalance and everything else, because now this can impact your digestive system, your energy, brain fog, like so many different things. But when we talk about hormonal imbalance, if you are having regular exposure to um, histamine release and it's releasing a lot and your body is just not doing a good job cleaning it up, that can also impact your hormones because your ovarian cells, your ovaries have a receptor for histamine. So that histamine docks on to the ovarian cell and then the ovarian cell says, hey, this seems like a good idea. Let's make more estrogen. Let's make more estrogen. And then because there's more estrogen, guess what estrogen does in your body too? Creates more histamine. It creates more histamine. So now there's more histamine and then the ovarian cells, oh look, there's more for the ovarian cells. Like, oh, let's make more estrogen. More estrogen, more histamine, more histamine, more estrogen. It's a fun cycle that can be really tough to turn off. Now, progesterone turns off the histamine. Progesterone whoop, mutes this. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know if it makes the boop noise, but the, yeah, like that. That's, that's progesterone. Hey, that's helpful. That's nice. Yay, right? But if this keeps recurring again and again in your system, and your estrogen levels dominate your progesterone levels and they're not able to get to a level where it can help take care of the histamine. You're stuck in a big rut. You're stuck in a big rut. Yeah. This is also the case for if you have eaten something and you're like, oh, I ate this last week and it was fine. I felt fine. I'm eating it this week and I feel like garbage. My stomach is upset. I'm really super bloated. What's going on with my system? Did I do something wrong? No, your body is just in a different place, chemically, hormonally, everything else, and it's going to react to things like histamine totally different. Yay. So how do I know? How do I know? I want to know more about this. How do I know if this is me? How do I know if this is something that's impacting me? Bam. Dutch test. 
I do Dutch testing on everybody in the 12 week challenge. Again, that is why I have the waitlist there in the comments. Go in the comments, get on the waitlist. Do not hesitate because it is a limited number of gals that I do take in the 12 week challenge. You get a Dutch test, we go over it. You get a customized plan to, go, to talk about these things. We talk about inflammation, nutrient markers, everything else as well. But this is, again, a lot of info that I just kind of went through very quickly, very quickly. But the biggest thing here is that increase in histamine increases estrogen, creates more imbalance. Yeah. So this is something, again, if you have increased estrogen and somebody's like, oh, just take this supplement to balance your estrogen. This is going to help with estrogen. Maybe. But if one of the big triggers is an increase in histamine and we're not targeting that either, you're not ever going to really get ahead of it. So that is why we do these things in the 12 week challenge. That is why I work on this. That is why what I do and educate on is so extensive because it matters. Because if your body is stuck in a really tough place, if you have tried all these other things, I'm eating really healthy. I'm trying to work out, but I'm so exhausted. I feel like a pile of hot garbage. What is wrong with me? This could be one of the biggest things. I work with this a lot with women. And sometimes there's very specific dietary things we have to recommend. It's not restrictive at all. It's just we have to take out foods that are causing an increase in histamine. Yeah, and this is different than non-inflammatory foods. If you're like, yeah, I do non-inflammatory stuff. Oh, they're different foods. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? <laughs> this is why it's, it can be tough to do this on your own. So let me know if this is helpful. So for those of you that are listening to this and you're like, holy crap, I have a question on this. Or what about this thing? What about this in thyroid or something? If you guys want to know, drop it in the comments or send me a message privately. I'm more than happy to do a video on it because that stuff matters. Um, it's really, really important. So other resources I have for you are my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. My books, The Female Fat Solution and Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon and my podcast called The Female Health Solution. Um, lots of different topics I cover in my podcast. And then, of course, uh, my tinctures that help you balance your estrogen and progesterone. This is like seed cycling, but supplements for your hormones to help make and create and balance the correct amount of estrogen and progesterone. You take them at different times of the month. So you are helping your hormones balance. So this does not get as triggered as we're going through helping uh, balance out that histamine. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Otherwise, I will see you later.